I'm the gadget guru, Andy Parr, and this is the Vogue.net. And now it's time for another episode of Ask the Rich. Today's episode is going to focus on one thing that we need to learn how to do, and that's removing the trunk from the Victory Vision. As we've already learned, the Victory Vision is a true convertible. It's actually two bikes in one. With the trunk on, it's a world-class, state-of-the-art tour cruiser. However, when you remove the trunk, it also removes some weight of the bike, and it makes it ideal for around town driving. Now, with me to help me in this endeavor is Scott Ward, who's the head tech from Victory of South Florida. Now, Scott, before we get started, let's talk about the difficulty level of this. If one being the easiest, what do we expect here? Uh, about a two. Uh, only take a few minutes. If you have all the right tools, you can do it with no problems. Okay, now first you say a two. That means that I'm not that mechanical. You think I can learn how to do something like this without causing any damage? For sure. Okay, of course you say the right tools, the right tools for the right job. Let's go through right now and tell me what are the right tools for this procedure. Okay, uh, you need a four millimeter Allen, six millimeter Allen, three eighths inch wrench, about a 16 inch uh, extension, 13 millimeter socket. Okay, are there any other accessories that you could use to make this easier? Um, you could use a torque wrench, make sure you've got the right spec on the bolts. Okay, let's talk about the torque wrench. Now that's gonna be for the manipulation of the bolts inside the trunk, correct? Yes. Now can I just use that hand tighten? You could. Uh, you could either not tighten it enough or over tighten it, which is why the torque spec needs to be used. So a torque is recommended for this procedure? Yes. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Step one, what do we need? Okay. First thing you need to do is remove the access panel in okay, front of the seat. Show me how to do that. You're going to turn the key back to open up the fuel door. Okay. Then you're going to open up your side storage right here. Okay. And you start by grabbing the forward lip of it and pulling that up. And then you can pull the back out of the tail of the seat. Okay, now are there any tricks? Is this fragile or is there anything you need to be worried about when you do this? Uh, no, you just need to take your time when you're pulling it off. Just make sure the handlebar is in the right position so you're not pulling it up into the handlebar. Okay, so we have the handlebar either straight or maybe cocked a little bit to yep. the left. Okay, that's step one. Let's move to step two. Okay, step two is removing the seat. To remove these, the seat, you need to remove these two bolts. Now, if they happen to fall through, are they going to fall through to the ground you don't have to worry about it? Uh, they should. That's one, and that's two. Okay, next step on removing the seat. You need to grab the front of the seat, pull it forward. There's a hook in the back. Come underneath and disconnect the seat connector. Okay, so there's for the heated the, seats. Okay, got you. Next thing you're going to want to do is unplug the trunk. Okay, now there's a number of cables down there. How do you tell which one is the trunk? It is this one right here. And it's got wires that run up into the trunk. Okay, that's step three. Okay, we've removed the seat. What's step four? Next thing we need to do is remove the plate bracket. Okay, that's the license plate. Yep. Now, why do we have to remove the license plate? It's important to move the plate because when you're lifting the trunk off of the bike, there's a metal edge on the top of this, and that'll damage the paint on the so trunk. So basically to keep it from scratching in yep. case you're not perfect in your movements. Let's move on to step five, and that is? Is removing the trunk. Okay, this is the fun part. You're gonna remove this panel inside the trunk so you can get to the four bolts. Any tricks there? Uh, no, not really. The only thing is you remove the top right one last. It, uh, Gives you good leverage and you can pick it up off so the bike easier. So you want to loosen it up, but do not remove the top right one until you're ready to take the, the trunk off. And as the bolt starts to come out, you can feel the trunk get a little play in it. Just support it with your body. I guess we should close this? Yep. Okay, watch your fingers here. And lift it straight up off the bike. Now that we've removed the trunk and we want to install the filler piece back into uh, the tail of the bike, you have to protect these handles and the painted finish on this. We're going to use some blue painter's tape to protect the finish on these pieces. Uh, next step is to open the side bags so you have access to remove the body panel. Okay, so here we just press the button, yep. pop them down. The next thing we do is remove this body panel and it's held on with automotive style body clips. 
uh, you need to start at the top and pull directly up towards you with just the leading edge. Okay, so you just loosen the four connectors. Okay, yeah. and now this panel right here, let me point out that if you bought your bike with, with the trunk already on it, you're not going to have this panel, correct? Correct. And this is sold as an accessory, so you need to get this from the dealer. Yep. However, if you bought your trunk separately, this was already on your bike. Yes. Okay, so now let's install it. With the lip in the back and tuck it under the trim piece, getting the automotive clips in their locators, and you're ready to snap the trim piece back in, working again from the bottom back to the top. And you can close the bags and remove the tape. Next thing we have to do is put the plate frame back on. Okay. The two four millimeter bolts that we took out earlier, screw them right back in while you're supporting the plate bracket in your hand. Now we're getting closer to getting the seat on, I guess. Yep, that's the next step. Okay, any trick to putting the seat on? Um, you, you do need to start by plugging it in. Okay. This hole in the back is what lines up with the hook. Okay. And the seat, that's the first thing that needs to go in. So the rear hook has to be secured yep. before you set it down. Okay, and you kind of feel it slide back in. Yep. I notice and as soon as you slid it in, the holes for the two Allen screws up here Line up. fell Perfect. right into yep. place. Next thing you have to do is put the two four millimeter bolts back into the seat. These are actually screwing into part of the aluminum frame, so you do not want to over tighten. This is the final step. Okay. Putting the filler panel back in. Okay, to reinstall the access panel, you start with the back V section, tucking it under the seat, slide it back until you see that it meets the seam in the seat fine. Then you just press it down and you can feel the rubber grommets pop in. Let's, let's show this. Let's go back and take a look at what the Victory Vision looked like with the trunk. Now let's take a look at it without the trunk. It's, as I said, it's like two bikes in one. Scott, I'm going to take a minute and go through all the steps again, but right now I'd like to thank you very much for your assistance on this. Okay, to recap all the steps, let's go through them one by one. Step number one, remove the access panel. Step number two, remove the seat. Step number three, disconnect the trunk wiring harness. Step number four, remove the license plate frame. Step five, open the trunk, remove the internal panel, locate the four bolts, and remove the four bolts. Step six, carefully lift the trunk straight up for removal and carefully set it down on the ground. Step seven, use some blue painter's tape to mask some of the sensitive areas of the bike. Step eight, open both side bags. Step nine, very carefully loosen the four connectors on the rear panel. Step 10, Using the lower edge, insert the rear panel and then remove the protective tape. Step 11, reattach the license plate frame. Step 12, reattach the wiring harness and insert the rear mount of the seat. Step 13, hand tighten the two Allen screws at the front of the seat. And the final step is simply reinsert the filler panel on the front. So there you have it. Now you have a visual guide on how to remove the trunk from the Victory Vision. And don't worry, because right here online on the Vogue.net, I have another manual to show you how to put it back on when it's time to take that trip. So for the Vogue.net, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr.